this is the dinosaur that I'm going to show you how to make. It has movable arms and legs. This is what he looks like from behind. And just too adorably cute. For this crochet project, you're going to need your 4mm crochet hook, as well as a tapestry needle or darning needle, and a pair of scissors. I would recommend using an upholstery needle to help attach the arms and legs, and I like Dritt's Home upholstery needles, and they come in four different sizes, 6, 8, 10, and 12. And I usually use the 10 inch to attach the arms and legs. You're also going to need your favorite safety doll eyes. I'm using a 21 millimeter rainbow safety doll eye. The yarn that I use for the main color is Karen One Pound. And the color is grass green. You only need one skein of the Karen One Pound. And again, the color was grass green. You're also going to need a black colored yarn for the mouth. So you're only going to need a little bit of a black colored yarn just for embroidering the mouth. You're also going to need a white colored yarn for the eyes and the mouth and also for the claws. And your favorite pink colored yarn for the tongue. So just a little bit of a pink colored yarn. I use this metallic pink. We're going to start with the head. So go ahead and get your green colored yarn. And we're going to start with the magic circle. So you just drape the yarn across your four fingers. Use your thumb to stabilize. Then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers twice. And then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then take your crochet hook, go right under those two loops around the middle fingers, bring up a loop. Then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. So here's one. Two, and six single crochet. Then take your forefinger and thumb and hold the base of the six single crochet. You have these two loops on the opposite side. Pull on one of them. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one, but this one's closing, so I'm going to gently close it. Then take your loose yarn in and pull on that. Then you're going to turn your work to work into the first stitch in the round. Now you're going to make two single crochet into the same stitch. And you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So two single crochet in every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round and then come back now we're going to continue making the increase rounds which means we're going to increase the number of circles I mean under number of stitches in the circle so now just take one of your scraps of yarn place it right where you left off and for those of you that know how to make the increase rounds we're going to increase all the way to one single crochet into eight stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So we're going to go in chronological order. So for the first increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into one stitch, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into one stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch, and you repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. So now you should have a total of 18 stitches in the round and all you have to do to figure out what your stitch count is is add 6 to the previous round. So we had 18 in this round so when you finish the next increase round you should have just add 6 to 18 and you have 24 and then 24 plus 6 is 30 for the each subsequent increase round, just add six to the previous round to get your stitch count. So I won't be giving you the stitch count for every 
round. Now go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off and for the next increase round you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker one single crochet into two stitches two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker now for the next increase round just move your yarn marker up and then you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker then for the next increase round is one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around so now you should get the hang of it you can see how we're going in chronological order so we went one single crochet and then two one single crochet and two and then two three and two four and two now it's one single crochet into five and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around so now you know that you need one single crochet into six stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around so now go ahead and continue making your chronological increase rounds and you're going to stop when you get to one single crochet into eight stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then come back. So now after you finished all of your increase rounds, I just finished my last increase round of one single crochet into eight stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch which gives me a stitch count of 60. Then you're just going to take and move your yarn marker up to where you left off and this time you're not going to be increasing the stitches in the round. You're going to maintain your stitch count of 60. So you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of only one single crochet in every stitch around and then come back. So now this is how your work should look. It's starting to cup and I finished my three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. One, two, three. Then go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off and we're going to make a decrease round. So for this decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into eight stitches. And then you're going to make your decrease stitch. So this decrease stitch will decrease the round, the stitch count by one. So you're going to single crochet two stitches together. So go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, go ahead and go into the next stitch and bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a decrease stitch or single crochet two stitches together. And you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into eight stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have 54 stitches in the round after that decrease round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off and now you're going to maintain the stitch count by making one single crochet in every stitch around for eight rounds. So eight rounds of only one single crochet in every stitch around. So after you finish your eight rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and move your yarn marker up for our next decrease round. And for this decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into seven stitches. And then you're going to make your single crochet two stitches together and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so one single crochet into seven stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker now you should have finished that round with 48 stitches in the round then take and move your yarn marker up and then just make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds so three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. 
So now after you finish the three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around, you're ready for the next decrease round. So for the next decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into six stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have 42 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of only one single crochet in every stitch around. Now after you finish the three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around, you're ready for your next decrease round. Make one single crochet into five stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 36 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. We're going to get ready to start closing the back of the head. So make one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. Now for the next decrease round, make one single crochet into four stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have 30 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off and then you're just going to make one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. For only one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. Now you can go ahead and add craft stuffing to the head and we're going to continue to add craft stuffing as we close. So for the next decrease round you're going to move the yarn marker up and then you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then for the next decrease round, make one single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. You can see how the opening is getting smaller and smaller. Then for the next decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into one stitch and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. Then you can go ahead and remove the yarn marker and then you're just going to make single crochet two stitches together until you're almost closed. And then we're going to slip stitch it closed. So just keep making single crochet two stitches together until you're almost closed. Then you can skip a stitch and then slip stitch. So I'm going to skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops for a slip stitch. And then you're just going to go around making slip stitches until the head is closed. One more should do it. Then you can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through just to bury into your work. Then you're just going to take your tapestry needle, put it onto the loose yarn end, and then go right in where you finished off, and then come out anywhere on the head. Then you can see how it buries the loose yarn end, then go ahead and trim the loose yarn end. So now you can set the head aside while we make the eyeballs. So for the eyes, you're going to start with your white colored yarn, and you're going to drape the yarn across your four fingers for the magic circle. Stabilize with your thumb and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers twice. Hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then take your crochet hook, go under those two, two loops around the middle fingers, bring up a loop. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. There's one. Two, three, four, five. 
and six. Then you're going to take and close it, but make sure you don't close it all the way because you need to fit the eye safety doll eye into the hole. So you just want to take and close it, leaving a small opening. So you can see how I left a small opening in the center. Then just turn your work and you're going to go into the first stitch and make two single crochet into the same stitch just like we did before on the head. So two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So two single crochet in every stitch around until you have 12 stitches in the round and then come back. Now we're going to make our continue to make our increase rounds. So we're going to make two increase rounds. Go ahead and leave the yarn marker right where you left off and then make one single crochet into one stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet in one stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around. Then move the yarn marker up to where you left off for our next increase round. So the next increase round you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into two stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around. So now you should have 24 total stitches in the round. You can go ahead and remove your yarn marker and now you can place the safety doll eye through the center of the magic circle. So I have a 21 millimeter safety doll eye. Then once you place it in the center go ahead and place the latch on the back, the safety latch. Then just take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off and then you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around and then come back. Now after you finish the two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around we're going to change to the green colored yarn. So just bring up your green colored yarn and you're going to bring up a loop and then you're going to tie a knot and then you're going to cut the white colored yarn. And then you're ready to continue on with your green colored yarn. Then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. After you finish the two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and get your yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and then you're going to make a decrease round. You can place the loose yarn ends in here. And you can go ahead and start adding crest stuffing if you want to. But you're going to make a decrease round and you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together. And then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around. So now you can see how I added craft stuffing and you can continue to add craft stuffing as you need to as you close. Then take and move the yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one single crochet into one stitch. Careful not to grab your stuffing. And then single crochet two stitches together. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into one stitch single crochet two stitches together, repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then you can take and just single crochet two stitches together until you're almost closed. Make sure you have enough stuffing in there for the eye. 
Then you can take and slip stitch close. So you skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, and then just slip stitch, just like we did for the head. Just take and slip stitch all the way around until the back of the eye is closed. Then you can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And you're going to need two of these. Then you can take your tapestry needle and just place it on the loose yarn end just like we did for the head. And just go right through where you finished off and come out in the green portion of the eyeball and then that buries your loose yarn end. So go ahead, make two of these, and then come back. Now you should have both of the eyeballs, and we're going to sew the eyeballs together so that the eyes will stay straight instead of being crooked. So get your tapestry needle and the same colored yarn, the green, to color the green, sew the green portion in place. And then just bring enough because you're going to need to sew it to the, body, the head as well. So just have enough to make sure you can sew it in place. And then once you have the eyes together and the green portion lined up, then you want to take and just sew. And make sure that you have the bottom. So where the color changes should be on the bottom. So make sure you line those up so that they're on the bottom. Then you can take and go through the eye. And then if you come out on this eye, go back in through that eye and go across to the opposite eyeball and come out on the bottom of the opposite eyeball. And then make sure you still keep them straight. And then I'm going to go right back through the opposite eyeball. And then I want to make sure that I go right through the same eyeball and go through to the opposite eye. And then down and come out where you first went in. Then you're just going to tie a knot, and then you're ready to sew the eyeballs onto the head. Then you're going to take and position the eyeballs. So the, the head, the large part is the snout. So you want the large part to be facing away from you, and you're going to place the eyes onto the back portion of the head. Make sure that you're about, here's the where we finished off. So I went back about three rounds on the back of the head and then just sew right into the head and sew it in place. This is what my eyes look like after sewing them in place. You can see that the safety doll eyes are even. The eyes are sewn together and I placed them onto the back of the head where it's narrower. So the larger portion is the, the snout where the nose is going to be. So then you have the eyes sewn in place and this is what the back, so the eyes are flushed with the back of the head and I sewed the green portion down and then the color changes where the white is changed to the green are facing down so you can't even see the color changes. So if you did it correctly that's how your eyes should look. Now you can set the head aside while we make the nostrils. For the nostrils, we're going to start with the magic circle. So you take your green yarn, drape it across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers, just like we've done before. Hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And then you're going to bring up a loop, make your slip knot, and then place six single crochet into the magic circle. So there's one, two, three, four, 
five, and six. Then you're just going to hold the base of the six single crochet and you're going to close the circle. Then you can take and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the nostril in place. And you're going to need two of these. So now you want to take your nostrils and you're going to line them up and I counted, use the magic circle on the snout as a landmark and count up 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then you're going to lay your nostril there and you want to line them up so you have approximately 7 stitches between the nostrils. And then once you're happy with the placement and use the safety doll eyes as a landmark too to help with placing the nostril so it's centered with the eyes. Then once you're happy with the placement, just lay the nostril flat so that the curved portion is facing towards the eye and just sew right along the edge of the nostril. Don't sew the flat portion down because that's going to stick up when you're finished. So you just want to sew the base of the nostril in place. And then you'll see how the nostril will stand up. Then just take and go close to where your loose yarn end is for the magic circle. And then just take and tie a knot. And then just bury your loose yarn ends. Go right where you tied your knot and come out anywhere. And that's how you sew your nostrils on. So go ahead and finish sewing your nostrils on and burying the loose yarn ends. So now you can see how my finished nostrils look and they're in line with the safety doll eyes. I have approximately seven stitches in between and it's about ten rounds up. From the magic circle. So for the smile you're going to need your black colored yarn on your tapestry needle. Use the magic circle as a landmark and you're going to count back 21 rounds and then you're going to go slightly up 21 rounds and slightly up from the magic circle. So it's going to be kind of up making a little bit of a smile. So you're going to go in at that point and then you're going to go towards the magic circle so don't go too far down just go as if you're heading towards the magic circle and then just go into the face you want to leave a little bit of a loose yarn end for tying a knot so just make a small about a, one round up so you can come out again right where you first went in That way you can tie a knot. And then you'll bury the loose yarn in later. So now you're going to go right where you, you're going to go straight across right to where you first went in and then come out again and you remember you're headed towards the magic circle. So you just go about an inch and a half, inch and a half to two inches. And then you just go back across and then you just keep doing this until you finish reaching the magic circle. And then you want to repeat the same thing on the opposite side. So make sure that you have it symmetrical on both sides and then come back. Oh, I'll go ahead and finish the half of it. So you can see how I'm going to go right to the magic circle. And then you just continue on the opposite side and finish the rest of the smile. And then come back. 
Now when you finish the opposite side, just leave the black yarn colored yarn for now because we're going to be making the teeth. And you can see how I made the smile the same all the way across to the opposite side. So now you can get your white colored yarn so we can make the teeth. Now take your white colored yarn on the tapestry needle and you're going to start right where you tied your knot and then come up about three, three rounds up, or three stitches I should say, at an angle. And then you can tie a knot with the black yarn that you have there. And then go down and then back up to where you have the tip of the triangle, just like that. And then come down to the black line, just above the black line, and then come up. And you're just making triangles all the way to the magic circle. Triangle teeth. And there's one. and then keep coming out right where you went in to make the side of the triangle. Just placing your teeth where you want them. And you're going to repeat this all the way across to the opposite side. And when you come back I'll show you how mine look. When I reach the magic circle I place the teeth two rounds out on both sides so I don't have a tooth right in the center. Then I finished my teeth right where I had my black yarn where I ended for the smile and then I'm just going to take and tie a knot and then you can bury your loose yarn ends. Just bury them into the head. I'll show you one of them. So you just take the loose yarn end onto your tapestry needle and then go in where you tied your knot and come out anywhere. And then just trim the loose yarn end. Now I finished the smile and the teeth. This is how it looks. So I have one, two, three, four, five teeth here. I'm out two rounds from the magic circle and one, two, three, four, five on the other side. So now you can set the head aside while we make the tongue. For the tongue, start with your pink colored yarn and we're going to make the magic circle just like we've done before. You're going to make your slip knot and then you're going to place 12 single crochet into the magic circle. I'm just going to show you a couple of them. You want 12 single crochet into the magic circle. So here's two, three. So go ahead, finish making 12 single crochet into the magic circle and then come back. So now you can take and close the magic circle just like we've done before. Just pull on one of the loops. If it doesn't close, then let go and pull on the other one, but this one's closing. So now we're going to work around the dome or curved shape of the finished 12 single crochet. So you're going to chain one and then turn your work. Then you're going to make one single crochet and then two single crochet into the next one. And then one single crochet and then two. And you're going to repeat this all the way back across. I'm just going to go ahead and do it with you. So one, two, one, two, and then end with the one single crochet. Then you can go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and just pull enough yarn through to sew the tongue onto the head. So you can take and pull on the center yarn strand to close up 
the hole in the center. Make sure that's closed. And then the tongue is ready to sew onto the dinosaur head. So take your tapestry needle, put it onto the long end that you left for sewing, and then you want to line up the tongue where you want it. So I don't know if you want it on this side, in the center, or on the right. So I'm going to put it over to the edge just like this, just under the black portion. And then you just sew along the base only. So you want the flap of the tongue to be free. So you're just going to take and sew all along the base of the tongue. Make sure it's nice and secure. And then take, I accidentally put my loose yarn in on the wrong, the right side, so I'm going to take it and bring it through to the wrong side. That way I can tie a knot on the wrong side. And then just take and finish. After you have it sewn down how you want it, just take and finish tying a knot on the wrong side. And then you just bury your loose yarn ends. So for mine, I'm going to bury my loose yarn in on the back of the tongue. So I'm just going to weave it through the back of the tongue. And then just trim it. So now we're all finished with the head. You can set the head aside while we start the body. Now for the body, go ahead and get the same green colored yarn and we're going to start with a magic circle. So just drape the yarn across the four fingers, use a thumb to stabilize. Wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers twice and then hold it in place with your pinky and thumb. Then you're going to make your slip knot. Go ahead and bring up a loop. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. So there's one. So we've done this before. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. And then you're just going to hold the base of the six single crochet and just close it just like you've done before. Then you're going to turn your work and you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So two single crochet into every stitch around until you have 12 stitches in the round and then come back. Now you should have 12 stitches in the round and you can take and turn your work over and pull on that loose yarn end on the back to close the center of the magic circle. Then take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off. We're going to continue our increase rounds, meaning that we're going to increase the number of stitches in the round. For those of you that know how, we're going to be increasing all the way to one single crochet into 10 stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So for the first increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into one stitch, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into one stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have 18 total stitches in the round and I'm not going to give you the stitch count for each round because all you have to do is just add 6 to the previous round. So remember we started with 12. If you add 6 to 12 you'll have 18. And then if you add 6 to that, you'll get 24. So the next round should be 24 stitches. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off. And for this next increase round, we're going in chronological order. You're going to go one single crochet into two stitches. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. And then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into two stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. 
And you guessed it, the next round is going to be one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead, keep repeating this pattern. Um, the next one will be one single crochet into four and then two, and then five and then two, six and two, seven and two, eight and two, and nine and two, all the way to one single crochet into ten stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch, and then come back. Now you should have a total of 72 stitches in the round after finishing that last increase round of one single crochet into 10 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Now you're just going to move the yarn marker up to where you left off and you're only going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for 15 rounds. So 15 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. After you finish your 15 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, then we're going to make a decrease round, which means we're going to decrease the number of stitches in the round. Go ahead and grab your yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and for the decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into 10 stitches. So one single crochet into 10 stitches and then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into 10 stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around. So after you finish that decrease round you should have 66 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off and then you're just going to make three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. So one single crochet in every stitch for three rounds and then come back. So after you finish the three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch you're ready for your next decrease round. For the next decrease round make one single crochet into nine stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have finished that round with 60 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off. And now you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. For the next decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into eight stitches and then single crochet two stitches together and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have finished with 54 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Then for the next decrease round you're going to make one single crochet into seven stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 48 stitches in the round. Then go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. For the next decrease round you're going to make one single crochet into six stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 42 total stitches in the round and then you're going to go ahead and move your yarn marker up and make one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Now for the last decrease round you're going to make one single crochet into five stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around. Now you should have 36 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off and now you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for our last eight rounds. So eight rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. 
Then after you make the eight rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around, you can go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch, go right into the next stitch, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you just finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to help you sew the head in place. Now you're ready to sew, stuff the body and sew the head in place. When you set the head on the body, I sewed mine. If I went out of the body, then I went in through the body and up through the head. And you're going to probably need several rounds where you're sewing around, securing the head to the body. And then if I come out of the head, I go about a stitch over in the head and then come out through the body. And you're going to sew around several times using this method to secure the head on the body. This is what mine looks like. I have a little bit of the head hanging on the opposite side and you can see how I have a, ni a nice stitch around to hold the head in place. Now I'm going to show you how to make the arms. You're going to be making two of them. I already made one. They're both made the same way. You're going to start with the magic circle and your green colored yarn, just like we've done before. And you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle, but first let's make a slip knot. And then you can make your six single crochet. There's one. And then you can go ahead and close the circle. And then turn your work. You're going to be working in rounds. And you're going to make two single crochet in every stitch around until you have a total stitch count of 12. So two single crochet into the same stitch all the way around until you have a stitch count of 12 and then come back. Now we're going to continue by making four increase rounds. First increase round will be one single crochet into one stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So again, just like we did before, to find out the stitch count, just add six to your previous stitch count. So my previous stitch count was 12. If you add 6 to that, you should have 18 for this round, and then just add 6 to each round to determine what the stitch count is. Now for the next increased round, move your yarn marker up, and now you're just going to make one single crochet into two stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then for the next increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. And then for the last increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. Now you should have 36 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up and now you're just going to make one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. So only one round of one single crochet in every stitch. Now go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off and now you're going to make ten single crochet two stitches together. I'll show you a couple of them. You're going to single crochet two stitches together and you're going to repeat this ten times. So there's one Go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through all three to complete a single crochet two stitches together. And now I have two. So you're going to repeat this until you have a total of ten. Ten single crochet two stitches together. So there's my third. Go ahead, finish ten of these, and then come back. After you finish ten single crochet two stitches together, 
Then you're just going to make one single crochet in each of the remaining stitches to complete the round. So one single crochet in each of the remaining stitches for this round. Now you should have 26 total stitches in the round. And you see how you're forming the front of the foot? Now you're just going to move your yarn marker up and make one round of one single crochet in every stitch. So one single crochet in every stitch around for one round. Now this is how my work looks so far. Then you're going to take and move your yarn marker up to where you left off. And now you're just going to make five single crochet two stitches together. So go ahead and finish making five single crochet two stitches together. Here's my second. You need five of them. Then, after you finish five single crochet two stitches together, just make one single crochet in each of the remaining stitches for the round. Now you should have finished with 21 stitches in the round. You can see how you have a nice paw formed in the front where you did the single crochet two stitches together. Then go ahead and remove the yarn marker, place it where you left off, and now you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for 20 rounds. So 20 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. After you finish your 20 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, then you can go ahead and add craft stuffing. Take your yarn marker, move it up to where you left off, and we're going to start our decrease rounds. So for the first decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches. and then single crochet two stitches together. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern. Now when I get back to the yarn marker I have one stitch remaining. Go ahead and make a single crochet into that stitch. Then take and move your yarn marker up and for the next decrease round you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then you're going to single crochet two stitches together and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Again you'll have one stitch remaining. Go ahead and just make a single crochet into that last remaining stitch. Then you can remove your yarn marker, finish stuffing the leg if you need to. Don't overstuff to where you have huge gaps and you can see the craft stuffing. You just want it just enough to where you don't see the gaps. Then you just single crochet two stitches together until almost closed. So now I'm almost closed. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch close. I'm going to skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring the yarn through both loops for a slip stitch. And I'm going to slip stitch all the way around until the arm is closed. This should be the last one. Then when you're finished, go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. Then just take your tapestry needle, put the loose yarn in onto the tapestry needle, go right where you finished off and come out anywhere. Pull that loose yarn in through, then you can trim the loose yarn in, and then that buries the loose yarn in. So you finished the arm, but before we finish I'm going to show you how to make the claws on the arm. Now for the claws, you just need the white colored yarn on your tapestry needle and you want to take your paw and find the center. So my center is about right close to right here. So I'm going to count over two and this is where the side claw is going to be. So you're going to count down and using the magic circle as a landmark, I counted two rounds up 
go in and then come out right where you counted from the center two stitches over from the center and then bring the yarn through and make sure you leave a loose yarn end for bearing into your work and tying a knot then you're going to go straight down right where you went in and then come out in the center so you can see my center here I went right back in where I first started and then came out in the center on top. Then bring the yarn through. And then that finishes the one claw on the side. Now we're going to make the center. So you're going to count over two and then go back in following that round, that second round. And then go back in and then come out two stitches over on the opposite side and then bring the yarn through and then you finish the center claw then you're going to count over two and then go back in and come out right where you first started make sure you get in that spot because you're going to be tying a knot and then just bring the yarn through to finish the last claw. Then you're going to take and tie a knot make sure that your claw still looks right. Then you're going to take and go right where you finished your knot come out through the back with your tapestry needle to bury the loose yarn end. Take and trim it. And then repeat the same thing with the other loose yarn end. And this is what it looks like when you're finished. So now you need to make two of these. Now I'm going to show you how to make the feet. We're going to start with the magic circle, just like we've done before. And you're going to start with the slip knot and then make six single crochet into the magic circle. There's one. And then just close the magic circle. Then turn your work, and we're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So go ahead, finish making two single crochet in every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. Now we're going to continue, and we're going to make six increase rounds. So take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off. And for the first increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into one stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet in one stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. For the next increase round, just make one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. And remember, to get the stitch count, you just add six to the previous round's stitch count. Then for the next increase round, it's one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. And you're going to continue making your increase rounds. The next one would be one in four and then two, and then one in five and then two, and then stop when you get to one single crochet into six stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch. Now you should have 48 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and now you're just going to make one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. So one round of one single crochet in every stitch. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up 
And now you're going to make a single crochet two stitches together 12 times. So you go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch and bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a single crochet two stitches together. And you're going to repeat that 12 times. That was the first one. I'm just going to show you a couple. Here's the second one. Show you one more and then I'll let you finish making 12 of them. And here's my third. So go ahead, finish making 12 single crochet two stitches together and then come back. Then after you finish your 12 single crochet two stitches together, you're just going to make one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches in the round. Now you should have 36 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off. And now you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for one round. Then this is what your work looks like so far. And we're going to make some more single crochet two stitches together across the front there. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up. And now you're going to single crochet two stitches together six times. So six single crochet two stitches together and then come back. After you finish six single crochet two stitches together, go ahead and make one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches. Now you should have 30 total stitches in the round and this is what your foot should look like. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up. Then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for 20 rounds. So 20 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. After you finish your 20 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and add craft stuffing to the foot and then we're going to start closing. And you're going to continue to add craft stuffing as you close. And for the first decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into five stitches. And then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into five stitches, single crochet two stitches together, repeat that pattern all the way around. You'll have two remaining stitches. Go ahead and just make one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches. Then for the next decrease round, make one single crochet into four stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. Then just put one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches. Move your yarn marker up for the next decrease round. The next decrease round is one single crochet into three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. Then make one single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. Then you can move your yarn marker up. Actually, you remove your yarn marker because now, after you make sure you have enough craft stuffing in there, we're going to go ahead and close. You're going to make a single crochet two stitches together until you're almost closed. I'm going to make one more and then I'm going to slip stitch it closed. Then you can go ahead and just slip stitch it closed. So you skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And you're just going to slip stitch all the way around until it's completely closed. Should be the last one. Then you can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury. Now you can get your tapestry needle, put it onto the loose yarn end. 
go right where you finished off and come out anywhere. And then just trim the loose yarn end. Now you can make the claws just like you did for the arms. Then just make sure that you make two feet the same way. Now we're going to attach the arms to the body and you're going to need your upholstery needle. It makes it a little bit easier with an upholstery needle. And mine is a 10 inch. And what you're going to do is make sure you have enough yarn on there to go through the arms and the body twice. And you're going to take the first arm, make sure that the paw is facing forward, and you're going to go approximately one, two, three rounds down, and you're going to go right into the side of the upper arm and come out on the opposite side at the same level. And then bring your yarn through and make sure that you leave enough loose yarn end for tying a knot. Then you're going to line up the arm on the body, see where you want to have the arm go on the body. Mine's approximately 12 rounds down from the neck. And then you're going to go right through the body and come out on the opposite side at the same level. And then just bring the yarn through the body. And you want to leave about one to two inches between the arms and the body. And then you just go right through the other arm the same way, go through the side and then come out on the opposite side of the other arm. And again, you want to leave one to two inches between the body and the arm. And then you're going to go about a stitch over. It could be down or a stitch over across from the where you exited, but I'm going to go down so I'm about a stitch down and I'm going to go back across and you want to come out a stitch away from where you went in the arm and then just bring the yarn through make being careful not to cross your yarn strands and then you go through the body about a stitch over so I'm going to stitch away from where I exited and then you want to go through the body and come out on the opposite side about a stitch over again and then go through the other arm, go about a stitch away, and then come out a stitch away from where you went in to start. And you're going to repeat this whole process one more time, staying a stitch away from your previous yarn strand and being careful not to cross your yarn strands. So go ahead, repeat the process one more time, and then come back. So now you can see how I went back through then you're ready to take and pull on both yarn strands to cinch the arms to the body. Now if you meet any resistance, let go and then just pull on one yarn strand at a time. Then once you cinch the arms to the body, you can take and tie a knot. and then just trim the loose yarn ends. Leave enough though to bury into your work. And then take your smaller tapestry needle, place the loose yarn end onto the smaller tapestry needle, go in where you tied your knot, and then come out on the opposite side. And then just bury the loose yarn ends. 
And then you have movable arms. Now you're going to attach the legs the same way, but you have to make sure that the dinosaur will sit. So make sure that wherever you enter the body, the legs, when they move up and down, that your dinosaur will sit. So you don't want your legs too high or too low. So you want them just right. So for mine, I entered the body about 15 rounds from the magic circle on the bottom. And also you want to line up your dimple with the arm, too, for the leg. And this is what mine looks like after I finished attaching the legs. And you can see how you can sit. And now he has movable legs and is able to sit up. For the tail, we're going to start with the magic circle. So just take your green colored yarn, drape it across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, and then wrap it around your two middle fingers. Hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And then you're going to put a slip knot into the magic circle. Then place six single crochet into the magic circle. So there's one. Then, once you have the six single crochet in the magic circle, go ahead and close it. And then I just have to fix my yarn bunched out of the center. Then, you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around two, for two rounds. So just count to 12. So one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds, which would be a count of 12. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can turn it to inside out as you crochet. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the last one, 12. So now I have one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. Then you're going to make two single crochet in every stitch around, which will give you a stitch count of 12. So two single crochet in every stitch around for a stitch count of 12 and then come back. Now you should have 12 stitches in the round. Go ahead and take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and now you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for five rounds. So five rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Then, after you finish your five rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off. And for this increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into one stitch, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So we're going to be increasing the number of stitches in the round. And then go ahead and repeat that pattern. One single crochet into one stitch, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Repeating that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 18 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off. And now you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. After you finish your three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, you can go ahead and add a little craft stuffing into the tail. And then move your yarn marker up to where you left off for our next increase round. 
For the next increased round, you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And then repeat that pattern all the way around. One single crochet into two stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch, repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 24 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off. And then just make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Then move your yarn marker up and we're going to make a decrease, I mean an increase round again. We're going to increase the number of stitches in the round. You're going to make one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So this is an increase round. We're going to increase the number of stitches in the round. So make one single crochet into three stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. Now you should have 30 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off. And now you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Then for the next increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 36 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up and now you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. And then the last increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. Now you should have 42 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for the last three rounds. So this is our last three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Then when you're finished, just remove the yarn marker and then you're going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. So you go into the next stitch, yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you can go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the tail in place. Make sure I have long enough. Then go ahead and finish putting stuffing into the back of the, into the inside of the tail, and then you're ready to sew it in place. After you center and position the tail on the back of the dinosaur, you're just going to go in and out, sewing all the way around the base of the tail. And this is what the tail looks like after you sew it in place. I'm just going to show what he looks like when he's all finished.